Mayor will be telling us we have so many people, how many languages we have in Markham as well too. And we, we can celebrate our success that we have in Markham because all of you as well too. So today, we really thank some of the special guests that are here with us. But before we do that, we also want to thank some of our special special team that actually put this together, some of the executive committees. First, of course, we, we have Amandeep. Amandeep is here. Okay, thank you. Oh, right here. So Amandeep is the one that helps coordinate with the communities and put everything, get in contact with all the, our residents in the area, giving the promotions and also recording the event as well and working together with our great dining facility here, Chow Hands. And uh, this is actually one of the first South Asian restaurant that actually I have sampled. Actually it was at the old location before. So, and this is my introduction. And today I'm looking forward to having the fantastic food that the element as well too. And then Councilor Harik Usman should be coming any moment now as well too. And so, and also want to recognize as well our of course, our honorary chair and our special guest is none other than our Mayor Frank Scapidi. We, we have many, many friends from the various communities, as mentioned, from the Chinese, from the Philippines, and so on. But I also want to uh, pay a special tribute to councillors that are actually making this possible as well. Why right in this, used to be this was the Ward 8 area, as well as the other area with before the boundary changes and we have a special tribute to our good friend the late uh, councillor Alex Chu who's been instrumental putting the Milton communities together and he's not with us here but his wife Alicia Chu is here with us and, the, and of course the current councillor Ward 8 our I would say the most diverse Ward in Markham is none other by, led by Councillor Isa Lee here. Isa. Well, there's one special person that we have to really acknowledge. You get to know him and you'll be surprised. He speaks many, many languages, including South Asian languages, Chinese, and of course, English, and many others. Yes. He was a former policeman. You guess who? Of course, it's our MP for Markham Uyenville. MP Paul Chang is here. Thank you. And I think uh, because of the time-wise, many of us will be hungry and hungry for food, hungry for mix and mingle for friendships, and hungry for the great entertainment that we'll have. We're going to make this kind of my three-page speech that people prepare for me. Instead, I'm going to pass that on to a special person that will deliver a better speech. Well, ladies and gentlemen, before, la ladies and gentlemen, should I have the pleasure of welcoming our Mayor Frank Scapini. Before Mayor speaks, well, many of us know Markham. Some of you are new, some of you are old. Like me, I've been here for 40 years. And, yeah, I, I was just born then. <laughs> Well, our, sometimes people will say, I can hear the slogans and talk about, it's time for change, good, bring back the good old days, whatever, and so on. Many people don't want to have the progress and also seeing the multiculturalism in action that we have. And our mayor, well, he's not new. What's there to change? Realities, he's been around, he's been on the good old days, actually. He's been the regional councillor, acting mayor and deputy mayor and mayor for the past three decades already. So how many more old days do you want? Go back to the dark ages. So that's what uh, I think. Well, we are actually on light to the light age. That's why we're lighting the light. In the light, we are against the good and the evil. We have been the good, all of you are good here, and of course, with our good mayor, we'll be having a great future in Markham and for the rest of Canada for our children to come. 
So really, really thank our mayor for making the great effort for the past decade, serving us in Markham to bring us as the best place to live, to work, to play, and then to have fun together. Thank you. Mayor. And I have to tell you, just the other night, and got out of his car and walked over. And he was someone who came to this country many years ago. And he had the choice of going to another country just south of the border. And when he went there, he was asked all these questions. They were very concerned that he might stay and not go back. And he said, don't worry, I don't want to stay. I want to go to Canada. And he remembers as a young man, someone who looked different, someone who sounded different, someone who had no connection to Canada. When he came to the border and when he showed his papers, the government official stood up, who was a little older than him, and he shook his hand and welcomed him to Canada. That is the story of our country. And I say that because that is reflective of the Canadian spirit. That is reflective of Canada. And I know, like my parents, I know many of you met other types of individuals who didn't respect your choice to come to Canada. And I want to let you know, as the mayor of Markham, I take great pride that we raise the Indian flag at the Markham Civic Center and we celebrate Independence Day for India in this community. Others, others try to stop that. Other tries to stop that. And that's a reflection of just very few people. But if we let those types of people be in power, if you have those types of people that are allowed to decide how to keep you down, then we will have a different community, we will have a different city, and over time, we would have a different country. We have to stand up collectively. You have invested so much of your hope and your future and that of your families to now turn your back and say, it's okay, it doesn't matter. Let me tell you, it does. And we've seen it in other countries when people get into power and what they can do for all the work that we've done to build bridges, what they can do to destroy those bridges in a matter of a few days, a few months, and all of a sudden, we don't recognize each other anymore. Dr. Kenning, I want to thank you for the FCCM. I'm deep. I want to thank the Indian women who've come together who look absolutely fabulous today. <laughs> Thank you. I want to thank you because this is what Canada is about. Dr. Ng is not beautiful. <laughs> here is someone from the Chinese community talked about how long he's been here. Here are women from India who've come together to celebrate Diwali. And what are we doing? We're coming together as one community. That's the mark of my life. So, one mark on. One mark on. One mark on for sure. One mark on. So uh, I just want to say thank you for the bottom of my heart. I, uh, as much as I worry sometimes about the future, I can tell you one thing. The future is bright in Markham. And yes, we need political leadership, but it's bright because of Dr. Ng, Abdeep, the Indian women, the Indian community, the Chinese community, the Filipino community, the Pakistani community, the Greek community, the Italian community, the list goes on. That's why our future is bright here in this, in this community. And so today, I want to say welcome to everybody. And I know I think you called us special guests. But let me tell you something. I am not the special guest here today. Michael Chan, I'm so happy to see you here today as well. Welcome. I want to welcome him. I want to say Michael Chan is not the special guest here today. Amanda Colucci for Ward 6, she's not the special guest here today. Sandra Tam, who's been an incredible public servant for us. 
not the special guest either. Ward 8 Councillor Issa Lee, who's here. A great addition to Marco Council. She's not our special guest. Neetu Gupta, who's been an incredible leader in the community as well. Many languages and reflects, again, the diversity. Thank you. All of these people are not a special guest. I want you to meet the special guest. I want to introduce to you right over here, Inder Kapila, who just last week turned 100 years old. One hundred, and he will not tell me his secret. <laughs> but God bless you, sir, and, and thank you. Thank you for choosing Canada. Thank you for coming to our community. And I, I just want to say happy birthday to you. We light the ceremony in just a, a couple of minutes. But let me tell you, it's your choice to come to Canada. It was your choice to be here. And here you are at 100 celebrating your birthday and seeing the great country of Canada flourish. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. So thank you very much. Happy Diwali to everyone. And let's continue to make sure Markham and Canada is the best place to live. Thank you. Amanda Kuluchi, please stand. Uh, Isali, please stand. So these are the three uh, incumbent who is running uh, for... Come on. Come up. So then, I have made up both a dost jo hai, Michael Chen. Made a my. Sorry, I gotta say it in English. My good friend Michael Chen, who's running for uh, regional councillor, and then we have uh, Sandra Tam, who's running also for councillor, and Nitu Gupta, also my friend, also running for council. So I'm so happy that uh, these people have put their name forward to run for public office. It's a tough decision to do, but they are giving back to the community. I hope that you will all go out and vote for each and every one of them. So, anybody, I'm sorry, did I miss anybody? Voting for many years, okay? So, but just remember for, in a few years, we'll make sure I will go be minister for Chen. But, so, Thank you for this. And then we're going to be starting the lighting ceremony. Okay, wait now, this is the turn. Don't you can aim. You're the third. Hmm. Amanda Kuruchi. Okay. And I hope you guys. Just do it. Are you going to put it down? So we go. Oh, my thing is doing the thing. Maybe. Isa. Comes up early. Isa. Maybe. Okay. Thank you for our elected audition. Elected.